Welcome to Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Sports tonight. The North Farmington Raiders are in town to take on your Lake Orion Dragons on a cool, blustery evening here on the campus of Lake Orion High School. Thanks for joining us. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke, for tonight for Owen TV Sports. See the Dragons getting underway. Number two, Alexis Dellenthal in between the pipes, warming up. And the Raiders, look at that wind blowing. My word. Cold spring here in uh, in Michigan, to say the least. At least the white stuff isn't flying around for us tonight, but that wind is going to have an impact on tonight's contest. Dragons have a lot of new faces coming into their varsity squad. And um, it should be a solid squad, athletic, and ready to go. Head coach for the Dragons is Chris Corteg. And the head coach for the Raiders is Tim Russell. Really excited to bring more spring sports to you. The rain has kind of kept us at bay here at ONTV, uh, chasing us off from softball games and all that good stuff. So hopefully it'll clear up so we can get some more uh, action here for you on Orion Neighborhood Television. It's our first soccer contest of the spring 2019 season. We're looking forward to kicking off here just uh, in a little bit. I want to remind everybody that you can watch these games on replay Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m., Saturdays at 1 p.m., and Sundays at 7 p.m. on Orion Neighborhood Television. That's Comcast Channel 10. Visit OrionOnTV.org for our new uh, broadcast schedule as it is posted. We're going to step away real quick, and we're going to have a kickoff right after this short timeout. It's Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Sports. Stay tuned. The Orion Area Chamber of Commerce invites you to come out to the 2019 Healthy Body, Healthy Mind Expo on Saturday, April 27th from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Orient Center. Local businesses will be on hand to offer information geared toward improving physical, mental, and emotional well-being in the community. Topics include health, nutrition, fitness, environment, finance, and more. This year's expo will coincide with Orion Township's annual Green Up event. Volunteers will gather at the Orient Center at 1 p.m. and will be assigned an area in the community that can benefit from a little spring cleaning. For more information on the Chamber Expo, visit OrionAreaChamber.com. If you'd like to get involved in Orient Township's Green Up event, call 248-391-0304, extension 3500, or visit OrionParks.com. And about ready to kick off here at Dragon High School. North Farmington in town to take on your hometown, Dragons. And there's the whistle on the kickoff. North Farmington has it. And we'll see what kind of offense they bring to the table. I don't believe we've called a game uh, between the Dragons and North Farmington uh, ever, really. So this should be a new experience for all of us. Again, that wind is blowing out there really uh, Going to be a, a pain in the neck out there for the players. One, to stay warm and comfortable. The other is to, uh, if any ball is in the air, it's just going to play a bit funky. Dragons with it on the far side. Looking to attack on the middle. Nothing open. Good defense by the Raiders. Corner kick coming here for the green and white. Nice send in, nice distance. Oh, header on the far post and just over the crossbar. It's at 24, I think it's Morgan West camping out on that far post with a header and So that was a nice opportunity by West in the first corner kick of the night for either team. Keep track of those stats as we roll along. Again, that wind in the face of the netminder for the Raiders trying to clear that. Dragons have it and reset the offense. Norman chips in the middle, trying to split the defense, and she does. West on the right side sends it in and handled by the netminder for the Raiders. I apologize for not announcing the name of our netminder for our visiting team. 
the roster does not list position, so we'll do the best we can. Time continues to roll here. Norman with the ball inside. Nice steal by the Raiders. Number five, that is uh, Haley Worthing. Dragons get it back, and they're working up that right side. Trying to feed it to West once again. Sent down range by the Raiders. Norman is there. Chip it near side, I think, trying to get it to Rourke. Yeah, the makeup of the Dragons this year, the sprinkling of uh, some freshmen uh, in this lineup as they go up the far left side. Dragons showing some speed in the early going here. Good defense by the Raiders, and they clear it out. It's number 21, Jillian Lolio. Dragons with the throw in from the side. Slidlowski gives it back, give and go. Played uh, out across that end line. Goal kick coming here for the Raiders. I well, thank you all for tuning into this contest. Again, I'm your announcer, Ian Locke, here for another season of uh, Dragon Soccer. It'll be, uh, I think, nine years of coverage of ONTV uh, Sports here for uh, Dragon Soccer. Happy to bring all these games to you as we can, as weather permits. And um, nice crowd on hand again to take in the Lady Dragons in action here. Megan Witt feeds it up the near side and out of play. Throw in coming for the Raiders. Ava Fakwar with the honors there for the Raiders. On the throw in. Like the Dragons earn it back. Megan Witt on the trigger, number 14 here for the Dragons. West covered tightly by number 22. It's Maya Kelly. And North Farmington sends that into the third row. The stands throw in coming here for the green and white. Oh, I guess it was deflected out off of Lake Orion. North Farmington in a crowd. Dragons try to turn on it and dumped. Sidlowski earns the foul. Free kick coming here for the Dragons. Like the energy of the uh, Lady Dragons so far in this contest. Coming out with some speed and aggression. Nicely done. Looks like Norman with the honors here. Norman is a sophomore on this varsity squad and played last year as a freshman. Nice addition to this Dragon squad and Solid defender, good on offense, just a nice all-around player and has been since the U8 days. Old school Lobos. Push from behind, no call, play continues. There's 14, Wit. There is a call, it's so windy out here we can't hear the whistle blow. Norman's lining up now for the free kick. Opportunity here for the Dragons. One quality scoring chance so far for the green and white today in one corner kick. See if Norman can uh, drop this one in a bucket. Maybe go far post, look for a tap in. Let's see. Farmington, North Farmington sets the wall. Norman winds up. Here we go. Delivery high going near side. Wind knocked it down. Oh. You can see the wind just. Blue, knocked that ball out of the sky and it dropped like a rock right into the hands of the North Farmington netminder. Just under 34 minutes in this contest. Early going of this one. And we'll score in the first half. North Farmington versus your hometown Dragons. So far, uh, North Farmington has been able to not uh, muster any type of offensive attack so far. Nice near side push. Marissa Kazik on the run. She runs it down and pushed out of play. Number 11. Marissa is a sophomore on this squad. West trying to feed that in, can't do it. Rush, feeding uh, middle of the field, ooh boy. Just a mess of people trying to get something organized. Somebody's open. 
Swarming defense by the Raiders. All played to the far side. Dragons winning the 50-50 ball contest so far tonight. Seem to be first to the ball and really pressuring North Farmington at every turn. Throw in coming here for the Raiders. Julian Lolio with the ball. Dragons intercept. Casey Lauer, number three on the move. Chips it up to the far side in the open space. Nicely done. Fozeman. Oh, my word, nearly. Nice job by Fozeman. Another quality scoring opportunity for the Dragons, second of the night. Fozeman nearly had one. The temperature's out here uh, and that wind. Just got to keep an eye on it. Nice turn by number 18 again at Sedlowski. Good footwork by Sedlowski. Haley Negri, number six, dishes it over to Fosman. Oh, what a save and a score. Dragons on the board. Casey Lauer. Oh, they're going to say offside. The flag was in the air. Looks like Lauer is parked in that back post behind the defense, so when the pass came, it was offside. North Farmington lucky on that one. Dragon's been putting the pressure on since the opening kick. Entering in. Challenged by the Raiders. Again, Dragon swarming that ball, just making any type of organization uh, very difficult for the Raiders. Trying to feed it through and intercept it. Nice, uh, nice spacing by the Dragons. Drop it in. Looking to turn. Again, number six, Negri. Nice inside cut. She ba breaks the defense. Chips outside. Oh, looking for uh, Lauer. Finds that left side. Chip on. Another save by North Farmington's Netmiter. Been very active here in the first uh, 10 minutes of this contest. Dragons last year, just a year ago, I believe were in the lower division of the OAA and won it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, finding some success and uh, looking for so here in 2019. North Farmington just having a hard time getting organized and getting the ball out of their zone. Their end, it's just good defense or good offensive pressure by the Dragons. Gathered in inside. 30 minutes left in this first half. No score. Nobody on the uh, that right wing over there for North Farmington to gather that one in. The farthest upfield North Farmington has uh, gotten in this contest again. Shut down by that Dragon defense. Zalowski showing her foot skills. Lauer dishing it over to uh, Kazik. Stops it. Brings it inside trying to tiptoe that line. Out of play. Should be a corner kick coming for the green and white. Who's going to have the honors? Looks like Amory Fosman. Second corner kick. Goes a short corner, dishes it up. Give and go. Fosman centering pass. Deflected down. Chip on near side. Just a bit wide. Nice opportunity by uh, number 18, Marissa Sadlowski there. Dragons opted for the short corner. Instead of uh, hitting the long ball, it might be weather-related, trying to see where the flag is going. It's coming out of the south. It's actually swirling out there. It's can't make up its mind what it's doing. Dragon setting up the offense. 
They've definitely dominated the time of possession here in the first half. Dragon throwing. Megan Witt, number 14, with the honors. Dishes to West. Out of play, Dragon throwing coming once again. Megan Witt with the honors. Time continues to roll here in the first. No score. West heads it up field. Intercepted, looking for a play in the box. Nobody's there. Ooh, nice wheels there by number three. That is Lauer to get it in and score. That time, no flag in the air. And that one counts. Dragon's on the board. I think that was number 15, Fosman. Here's a replay. Nice lob in by West. Didn't look like anything, but the defender waited for the ball instead of attacking. Yes, it's number three, centering pass and a tap in. One timer nicely done by number 15, Fosman. At 27-25 of the first. Dragons uh, get on the board. One nothing. You saw it coming. They had uh, they were they were dictating the pace of play here since the opening kick, especially on the offensive end and defensive end for that matter. North Farmington hasn't been past the three-quarter uh, mark of the field, just outside the uh, the center field circle. They've barely been able to uh, put any pressure on this Dragon defense, but the Dragon showing speed and athleticism here in 2019 and a swarming defense. Farmington swinging it far. Far side, bringing it back again. Trying to dribble through the defense. It's always a no-no. Intercepted by the green and white. Heads up, looking downfield and dishing it. Trying to split the defense. Nice aggressive play by the Dragons to earn the throw in here. Wit with the honors. North Farmington with it. Decide, changes her mind. Number 26, don't have her on my roster. Everywhere you look, there's a green jersey. Wild swing by West. Ineffective. Nice aggressive play by number six. Haley Negri doing her job out there. I'll split the defense. We're going to say foul. Whistle blows. Looks like a foul off the ball potentially as they bring it back. Goal kick. I think it was a foul behind the play after it was uh, dished off, collision. Dragons called for the harm. But again, the ball does not get out of the, uh, the Raiders' end. Dragons continue to put that pressure on West. Kasich, nicely done. Run by the Raiders. Odd deflection, no handball called. Play continues. Ooh, Dragons had an opportunity there. Fosman, she was there. Keep it close. She had it. She could walk in on that left side uncontested. Dragon center. Haley Negri with the ball number six. Dragons making good decisions. Nicely done by Fosman. Cuts it inside, going right foot, sends it on net, and saved by the netminder. Dragons just putting on the pressure here in the first half. Worthington, number five, can't contain it. Dragons have it once again. Nice turn by the Dragons, number five. Finnerin. Bridget Finnerin. Speedy freshman Finnerin. Centering pass, wide open, chip on. Just wide right of the net, my word, Dragons. Dragons just feel like they're about to explode to get on this, uh, to just get that feeling. Momentum is clearly in their favor. As another quarter kick is earned by the green and white. This will be number 15, Anne-Marie Fosman. Last time we saw a short corner, see if she sends it long. The wind is right in her face. You see the flag standing up. She goes long, keeps it low though. 
Negri tries to turn. Looked like she's going to go left foot. Decides to dish it out. Chip onto the right side. Nobody there. Out of play. Should be oh, tipped off uh, the Raiders. Dragons throw it. Morgan West goes Olay. Negri. Knocks it down, double teamed by the Raiders. Witt inside, still free. Chased down by the green and white, kicked out. Corner kick coming here for Lake Orion. Just putting the pressure on fourth corner kick to this contest. As you can see the, the, the fans in the stands bundled up tightly. Hood, hoodies in. Winter hats, it is cold out here tonight. Again, look at that uh, corner flag just standing on end right in the Dragons' face on this corner kick. She went low last time. A nice uh, delivery inside, sitting free. Dragons looking around. I think they were looking for like a handball or something, but it was free just sitting there for it seemed like eternity. Nobody wanted to do anything about it. Fifth quality scoring chance for the Dragons. No corners, no scoring chances for the Raiders so far in this first half. Osmond has the only score of the night, number 15 at 27-25 on a one-timer. Out of play, throw in coming here for North Farmington. Kelsey Newton with the honors here for the Raiders as it uh, looks like uh, the Raiders are making a substitution. 22, just under 22 minutes left in this first half. I want to thank you for tuning into this contest. Again, Owen TV will be out uh, recording games all spring long, weather permitting. Already had a couple of rain outs, so we're hoping the weather turns for us so we can get some contests in, get them on the air, get some, uh, so you can see these student athletes in action. Have some lacrosse matches coming your way. And uh, a couple uh, track meets as well. Are they going to say uh, offsides or a f I think it's offsides in the middle. It was called on uh, Casey Lauer, number three. Free kick here for the Raiders. Any games covered by Lake Orion that are at the uh, Main football field and softball fields, just so you know, are streamed live on the NFHS network in conjunction with the MHSAA. All school year long, uh, Lake Orion uh, Dragon Broadcasting and ONTV Sports has teamed up with uh, the student uh, crews and our interns and staff to bring you the most comprehensive Dragon Sports co coverage you're going to find anywhere on the planet and streamed live across the globe on the NFHS network. Head over to dragonbroadcasting.org and for more information about how you can watch these games live as they happen. Norman with a free kick after the foul. Sends it down range, long and strong. Dragons try to corral it, but the Raiders are there. Open space in the middle, run down by number 10. New off the bench, it's uh, Matia Rourke. Speedy Rourke got there first. Wide open in the middle, if they can get it there. That's uh, Haley Negri with this number six on the side. Can she get it in? No, good defense by the Raiders, still battling. Raiders sending two to the ball deep in their defensive end. Negri dancing over there, out of play, throw and coming. Rourke with the honors, drops it in a bucket. Oh, nice clearance here. Send it on net, tapped in. Yes, it's good. Are they gonna say goal? Yes, it is. Here's a replay. Centering pass by number eight, that's Katie. Grace Katie. And Fossman tallies her second of the night. And 
19-15. Again, very similar play to how they scored on the first goal. Wide open centering pass, and she's clearing in one time in. The netminder recognized the play, got a paw on the ball, but could not uh, corral it in, and Fossman finds the back of the net. Dragons up 2-0 here at 19-15 left in the first half. So far, dominating play on offense and defense so far. Nice pass by number 10, Matia Rourke. She'll have the honors here in the throw-in word in the headband. Dragons just playing at a quicker pace than the Raiders. Nice chip on in the middle. Wide open, oh! Meatball served up to Fossman looking for a hat trick. She was just a little more patient. She got a full, uh, full foot on that ball and sent that one to the back of the net. What a setup by the Dragons. Good vision by this these Lady Dragons in 2019, knowing where their teammates are, finding the open spaces, keeping the Raiders off balance. There's Fossman getting pushed by number 23. Kelsey Newton. Play continues all across that end line. Checking on player number 21, it's Jillian Loyo. She went down in a heap in the collision, and what are I gonna say, corner kick here for the Dragons, their fifth of the night. A lot of corner kicks for the green and white. None for North Farmington. No scoring chances for the Raiders. Trying to send it in. Fossman's there. Kicked out in the middle. Dangerous area for that ball to be. Chip on high. Archer was not on frame. Rourke and Norman doing the, the give and go. Norman has it. Ooh, just chipped away by the Raider defense. Raiders are content to dribble in the middle of the field as opposed to clear it. Dragons retain possession. Lauer with the ball, dishes it over to the left side. Fossman's there. Cutting inside, trying to go right foot. Finds number 18, that is uh, Sadlowski. And kicked out of play by number 22, Maya Kelly. Should be a throw in here for the green and white. Dragons trying to get organized here, yes. Number 16 will have the honors, Megan Rush. Rush has it again, coming near side. Raiders defended that well. 16.45 left here in the first half. Dragons up 2-0. Dominating pace of play. Putting, ooh, push from behind. Easy call for the referee on the harm. I think that was Newton on the push. Free kick coming here for the green and white. Again, the, the wind is coming out of the east, just howling across this, this turf. Short kick by Norman over. Lauer. Lauer has it. Again, any uh, time of possession for the Raiders is just cut short. Dragons are there on all the passes, clogging all the lanes. Some space on that left side. Farmington, ooh, high chip shot, dangerous in this wind. Push from behind, easy call. Haley Negri call on the, uh, the harm from behind. Free kick coming here for the Raiders. A lot of activity going on here at the uh, sports complex here at uh, Lake Orion High School. We have lacrosse happening on the football field right behind us. Baseball is also uh, underway. Uh, varsity softball. If I understand right, the uh, Lady Dragon softball squad is undefeated here in 2019. Dragons have it near side. Not a lot of pressure put on by the Raiders. A lot of room to roam here for the Dragons. Rourke. Centering pass, finds its way over to the far side. Chip on, deflected up, floater, chip over. Ooh, I thought that was in, over the crossbar. I think that was Grace Cady on the uh, delivery. Again, Dragons. Dragons putting pressure on this uh, Raider defense. 
Good shot by number eight, uh, Grace Cady. Take a little bit off that one. Settle it down slightly, and that's in the net. Raiders have not attempted a shot on net tonight. Lauer just we bobbing and weaving through the traffic. Lauer. Nice two-woman game by number 10, or Rourke and uh, Negri. Long throw and intercepted. No, it's not. Dragons have it. A lot of space. Delivery. Is it on frame? A little too hard and to the right. Negri knocks it down. Comes out with it. Over to Rourke. Right foot centering pass. Oh, nicely done. And again, Grace Katie throws her gaze to the sky going, are you kidding me? Looking for a second one-timer, and she sends it over the crossbar once again. And Dragons finding those creases and just delivering the ball on point. The strikers have just settle down and uh, get a solid kick on. Boy, this game would be... Much higher score uh, than it is currently at 2-0. Raiders are lucky so far that it's not higher. Tim Dragon, nice closeout by North Farmington's net miner, but they blew it dead outside of the 18. I don't understand why they blew that one dead. Say offsides or a foul. Dragons again slow that offensive capabilities of the Raiders, and they're on the move once again. Seems like every deflection for the Dragons seems to work out for them, and here we go. Haley Negri centering pass. Couldn't get the angle, and you had Norman trailing there on the near side post. This team is playing well together. Knowing where each other is in space. Not bunching up, doing a nice job of communicating. All around solid first half by the green and white. Dragons again in the clear. Shoots, just misses it wide right. The Raiders just seem content to watch her roll by and the netminder just uh, conceded the goal and Katie again, that's her third quality shot. Just missed it on that angle on the far post on the right side. Goal kick coming here for the Raiders. No let up in this uh, cool breeze blowing right in her face. Every ball challenged by the green and white. Nice to see. Just a, just a step quicker of the green and white tonight. Rourke is a dodge defender. That's number six. Charlotte Warner. Warner doing a nice job. I'm going to say. Following the Dragons. Trying to figure this one out. Clock has stopped. Injury timeout. I want to thank you all for tuning in to this contest. Hopefully we have about uh, three more of these uh, soccer uh, matches to bring your way. Weather permitting, of course. North Farmington uh, injury. A little timeout here as the Dragons huddle up to talk it over. Good look at the squad here. Uh, who's on the field right now? We got uh, 16 is Megan Rush. Number three, Casey Lauer. Number 14, Megan Witt. Number 10, Mattia Rourke. Number six, uh, Haley Negri. Number 20, uh, Norman. Having a really nice first half here. Morgan West is out there, number 24. And substitute coming in for the injured player as we get ready to uh, set up here to get going again. Should be a... Dragons had possession, and they were on the move, so it should be their ball. It might be a 
Courtesy kick back to the green and white. And then um, we'll get underway here. Going to give him a free kick. I guess they're calling a foul on the injury behind the play, so she gets a full free kick. I think that was more of just a courtesy kick back after the stoppage of play. Dragons kick it down range. I think that's Delvinthal, number two, between the pipes for the green and white. Catherine Guitar. No number listed, so she might be another netminder for the Dragons. We're assuming the netminder for green and white is number two. Delvinthal, we haven't seen, uh, haven't had much on the defensive side to talk about. As the offensive struggles continue here for North Farmington. Dragons not going to West playing that left uh, side of the field now as opposed to uh, the right. 24 West will have the throw in here for the for the green and white. A lot of these varsity players recognize the names from club soccer from years ago and from uh, middle school cross country. A lot of distance runners, quality distance and cross country runners. Um, they always seem to find uh, the soccer players are the really good <laughs> distance runners when they decide to go out for cross country and track. Obviously, you're running quite a bit in the soccer. And you hear some estimates that you run close to three miles in one game. North Farmington with the ball and the throw in. Ava Farquhar with the throw in. First time the Raiders have had a chance. Again, they can't get past that three quarter mark of the field. Dragons there. Nice turn by Negri. Negri challenge. Dragons are not settling back and just letting uh, letting things happen in front of them. They are dictating and influencing everything that North Farmington is doing tonight. Rush with the ball on that far side. Feeds it up. That's Katie. For a centering pass and that uh, Raider defense really packing it into the 18. Rourke. Nice pass by Rourke on the outside of her foot. Give and go. A little too much mustard on that one. Fosman was there. Throw in here coming for number 13, Ava Farquhar. Rourke nicely done. Just stepping in front of that offensive player, number four, Julia Riggin. Raiders are flat-footed out here today for sure. It's a throw in here for the Dragons. Gonna give uh, Norman the uh, honors here with uh, Rourke in reserve. Fosman goes and parks in front of the, uh, in the net. Nice high chip going to the far post. Flying it high, high kick above the head. Play continues. Fosman with it, coming back to Norman. Dishing it back in the box. Trying to tap it around. That ball's just sitting there. Smart play on the defensive side to clear it. Lauer chasing it down. Rush feeds it near side to 14. That is Witt. Indication is throw in here by North Farmington. Inside seven minutes to go here in the first half. Dragons... Uh, just a two to nothing lead. This, uh, this, it could be a lot worse. Could be uh, five nothing the way the Dragons have been playing. They just uh, settle that ball slightly. Like you said, the momentum is clearly on the Dragons' side, and it's just, just waiting to bust open this uh, offense. Norman cuts inside, taps over to Sidlowski. Out of play, corner kick coming for the green and white. Yes, it is. Thought Norman could get a boot on it, point blank, but just couldn't turn and get settled. And Fosman with the honors here again. Wind right in her face. See if she goes longer and does a short 
Decides to go short. Rourke, chip on. Nobody there. Good defense by the Raiders. Rourke has it with space to move. Nice lane wide open. Tap in. Norman can't get a boot on it. What a save by North Farmington. Second straight possession. Norman had an opportunity, just could not finish. Sometimes if you don't have your feet set right, you're anticipating a right-footed kick, and it comes to your left, and you're trying to adjust, and you just get tripped up. Nice feed in by Rourke, though. Found the seam and delivered the ball. Dragons uh, dominating the offensive categories, not just on the scoreboard. Six corner kicks earned tonight. Eight quality scoring chances for the green and white. It doesn't count all the shots on goal, but just quality scoring chances. Nice try by Sidlowski, just peppering that ball against that defense, just getting wearing them down. Dragons again just swarming that ball. Smart play in the defensive end to dodge that offensive attack. Nicely done. Dish near side to Rourke. Rourke come playing up that far side. Bossman in pursuit, knocked out by number 10. That is McKenna Galloway, and they're going to say Dragon throw in. T. Rourke with the honors here on this side. Several options here, finds the open area, dishes it back. Rourke tries to feed it in, but oh, she'd like to have that one back. Megan Witt, number 14, challenged by the Raiders. Trying to turn, looking for the open man. Just content to hold it as time continues to drip away here. Smart play to find the open Dragon player. Give and go. Oh, nice step over by the Dragons, number six. Negri trying to feed it into the middle. Norman was there. West taps it in. Step around, nicely done. Oh, go left foot, can't, can't pull the trigger. Score, finally. <laughs> Who is that, Grace Cady? Fourth time's the charm, let's see the replay. All started with West's nice chip in the middle but it was Sidlowski's aggressive play to challenge that ball and that right-footed chip into herself. Opened up Negri on side, near side post, finds the opening in the back of the net. Three, nothing. Dragons here at three. 34 left in the first. Grace Katie. Katie had three opportunities prior to that one and sent them Cross that crossbar. She's getting frustrated, but Katie's experienced player on this squad. You know she's going to get hers. You can't let her open that off, and she's going to make you pay. That is for sure. Commanding 3 0 lead here in the first. The question is where's North Farmington going to find the offense? Chip on. Nicely done. Norman on that post, but uh, the netminder was in position, and Gathered that one in. Sends it down range, not very far, and the Dragons again. Just putting pressure on North Farmington. Nice five hole pass by the Raiders. Trying to do something on the far side. They had an opening, tapped out, or no. Unforced air, the Raiders can't afford to give the ball away on a pass in the open area. Still in, here's Katie, she's looking for another one. Right foot centering pass, oh man. Fosman's looking for a hat trick here and she was in position. Nice pass by Katie to get it there. Dragon's just playing on a whole nother level today. Foul call on the hit check as uh, Charlotte Warner goes to the turf, number six for the Raiders. Farthest ball this uh, half. 
Some regular play, Farmington, but it's gathered in by the Dragons Netminder. Sporting the number two jersey, I think it's uh, Delvin Thaw. Kicked out of play, should be a Raider throw in. 25 with or 23 the iron things. Kelsey Newton with the throw in. Dragons just all over the ball. Nice feet up that side. Wide open. Who's going to have it? Norman showing her speed. Can't keep it in. Oh man. Very close. 54 seconds to go in the first half. Raiders are looking for. Just a break from this offensive uh, pressure the Dragons have put on since the start of this contest. Time continues to roll as the goal kick is coming. Scoring got off to a good start at 27-25. Fossman, she tallied another one at 19-15. And Katie got the third goal of the first half at 3:34. as time continues to roll here. Can the Dragons get another shot on goal before the time expires? 16 seconds to go. Rourke dancing over there. I think they're content just to pass it around. That'll do it for the first half. Dragons impressive. Offensive uh, pressure and defensive pressure as well. Close out this first half. 3 nothing going into halftime. Stay tuned for the second half right after this. On TV's coverage of sports continues. Runners and walkers are invited to take part in the 23rd running of Orion Township's annual Dragon Dash, scheduled to take place on Sunday, May 19th. The 5K course begins at the Orion Center with participants traveling along the Pollyann Trail to Civic Center Park before turning around and coming back to the finish line at the Orion Center. Awards will be presented to the top overall male and female participants, as well as runners in a variety of age divisions. Registration opens at 7.30 a.m. with the race starting at 9 a.m. sharp. Take part in this longtime tradition and register by visiting orionparks.com. For more information, call 248-391-0304, extension 3500. Second half, about to get underway here at Dragon Stadium. North Farmington Raiders taking on your hometown Dragons. In this varsity grudge match here, Dragons up 3-0 at the start of the second half. Two goals by Henry Fossman at 27, 25, and 19, 15 to the first. Grace Cady caps it off at 3:34 for the third goal. Dragons uh, looking to pick up where they left off in the first half with the offensive pressure. Trying to shoot from distance this time. They were doing point blank range and just tap ins. They were really one timer centering pass and a tap in for two of those goals. Bridget Finneran in number nine battling out there. Centering pass to number six, Negri. Negri's had a very nice game. So has Melissa Norman. West in pursuit of that ball on the side, keeps it in. Nice hustle by the sophomore. Kick it over to Sidlowski, cut inside. Oh, tried to get, tried to pass it over to number six, Negri. Hangs her head, saw an opportunity, just sometimes you just gotta fire it on that, see what happens. Rush with the ball, cuts outside. Nice uh, ball control here by the Dragons. Rush turns. Fourteen wit, dishes it over to West. West right footing, cuts inside, looking for the centering pass. Intercepted by number four, Julia Regan for the Raiders, and they're content to clear it out, but who's there? The green and white. Long range shot on net. Just wide right. And we have a goaltending change here for the Raiders for this second half. 
Angelina Daly checks in for the Raiders, sporting the jersey number nine. Can't see the number on the uh, North Farmington Netminders uh, jersey. Like to give credit when we can. West battling over there out of play. Green and white throw in. Play continues. He's trying to get organized out here. Nice chip inside, nicely done. Nice step over, inside check. Outside of the right side, wide open. No, uh, not in position to shoot. Dragons just touch and grab handball. That looked like a handball. Trip in the box, no call. Come on, ref. Got her from behind. Megan Rush sends it in and out of play. A couple times there it was very close that the Raiders was an unintentional handball, but we've seen uh, referees, hey, he's going to let him play, let him play, as long as it's uh, that way for the whole contest. We've seen some referees uh, really quick on the whistle and call those uh, penalty kicks right out of the gate just really quick. Dragons again, number 11. Marissa. Raiders just trying to clear it, just hanging on. Daly with the ball, can't clear it again. 14 with the pressure, got to give it. Megan Witt having a nice game here for the Dragons, number 14. Just a pest out there. I love the, the, the players that are the pests. <laughs> Always buzzing around, you swat, swat, trying to swat them away from your, it's like a mosquito just buzzing in your ear, just driving you nuts. Ultimately, uh, driving the defensive uh, player to make a mistake. Switching the field of play. Running down by Bridget Finneran. Finds the open player in Fossman. Fossman centers it. Not looking for that left-footed shot. And didn't quite get a lot of contact on that one. It was Finneran. Katie, excuse me, that is Negri. Dragons just so close. I mean, you're just waiting for one little mistake by the Raiders and they walk right in. A lot of passing in the tight quarters instead of uh, shooting the ball. The best offensive rush so far of the night for the Raiders, closed out nicely by the Dragons. Collision. Kayla Shuck, number 15 for the Raiders, goes down in a heap on that nice run, but even better defense. Foul called as the Dragons are dumped from behind by number 30, or 23, Kelsey Newton. Got some uh, Raiders fans wondering where the foul was on the defensive side down at the other end when Shuck goes down in a heap. Good defensive closeout, showing the speed on this Dragon squad to close that out. Norman on the feed on the free kick. On the near side, Finneran trying to feed it over to Fossman. Out of play, Dragon throwing. Who has the honors? Number 16, Megan Rush. Chipped out again by North Farmington. Should be green ball. Good challenge by Maya Kelly, number 22. Nope, changing their mind. Throw in by 23, Newton. Out of play, Dragon Ball. Norman with the honors. Everybody bundled up here. It's getting even colder. That sun is setting. Wind continues to blow. Just a cool, cold night out here at Dragon Stadium for this contest. Give away in the middle of the field. Dragons looking to take advantage. Negri back outside to Witt, who loses possession. Raiders feed it long. Chased down by Norman. Scooped in by the Dragon Netminder. 
I think that is Delventhal. Second time I've called her name tonight. She actually touched the ball for the third time this contest. Nine quality scoring chances for the green and white on six corner kicks. Three goals in the first half. No corner kicks, no scoring chances for North Farmington as of yet. Oof, Osman almost had the steal. Almost had the steal and the numbers. Nice challenge. One thing the Dragons are making the uh, def uh, offensive players do is you got to make a quick decision. What are you going to do? Are you going to settle the ball and do some extended dribbling, or are you going to look for the open man and give it up? Just challenging him all the time. Nicely done. Finnernan feeds it in. No one home. Looking for Fossman. Fossman's been everywhere in this contest. She is all over this field. Looking for a hat trick here. One, one more goal by number 15, and she tallies the hat trick. Outside the 15. Trying to go right foot. Feeds it back in. Shot on that end and score. Let's look at that once again. Fossman. I think it's 18, actually. I think it's Sidlowski tallies that one. And that's at 31-15. Like you said, it's just a matter of time for them to hit, you know, to get in there. The way they've been pressuring that uh, the defense all along, it's just someone instead of passing, just take a shot. And that was a, an odd-looking shot. It didn't have a lot of pace on it, but it dipped at the end and curved down in that lower uh, left-hand corner of the lower 90. And those are the hard ones for the netminders to grab and to go low. A little easier to go high for them for the save, but smartly uh, going low and away. Tallies the fourth goal of the night for the Dragons. In command here at home against the visiting North Farmington Raiders. Dragons coach Chris Corteg has to be pleased with how his uh, team has performed so far tonight. Been able to rotate in a uh, good portion of his bench as well, and they there's no drop-off. Chased down by West, and she gets free. Second middle chip on. Oh, nice defensive stop by number 21. And West has collided there side to side. That's clean. 21, Jillian Lolio on the defensive stop there. Nicely done for North Farmington. Looking for any positive tonight for the Raiders. Out of play. Finnerton with the trigger here from the side. It looks like uh, Fossman's going to get a breather. Number 15 heads out. I think number 10, Matia Rourke checks in for the green and white. She's had a very nice game. Grace Katie there, number eight, back in the contest here. Bridget with the throw in. Drags her back foot, nicely done. Dragon's just making the right choices, getting around this these Raiders. Nice turn by Negri. Intercepted by 13, that is Ava Farquhar. She sends it down range. Look at the speed at number three. Casey Lauer with wheels. Can't teach speed, as they say. Nice decision, that's 18. Sadlowski again, just after the goal. Tallies her first of the night. Here's Katie looking for her second. Good defensive stand. Chip on out, that should be a corner kick coming here for the green and white. That is their seventh of the night. See that flag blowing, my word. Right in the cameraman's face. 
Grace Katie lines up for this corner kick. Dragons always have a nice corner kick game going. Let's see if they can drop this one right. Not nope, going short this side. Give it back to Katie. Sends it on. And what are they going to say? Oh, they're going to say handball in the box. Penalty kick coming. I'd like to see replay of that one. That was saw a more egregious foul earlier in the matchup that wasn't called, and that one is called. And who's going to take the honors? Looks like number three, uh, Casey Lauer. That minder is on her line. Lauer is lined up, waiting for the whistle. Gives a thumbs up to the net minder. Waiting for the referee to give her the go. Lauer looks like she's setting up for a right-footed shot. Goes near side, nicely done. Looked like she was aiming to the far side, but picked up the goalie nicely. Casey Lauer. Casey Lauer, PK. 27-59 of the second half. Fifth goal of the night. Second goal of the second half here for the Dra Dragons. Fossman has two. Katie has one in the first half. Sadlowski at 31-15 uh, of the second. And Lauer at 27-59. Playing for the Raiders, number five, Haley Worthing. 18, Melina Jansen. For the Dragons, number five, Juliana Warsh. 21, Abby Ruggiella. Abby Regalia checks in for the first time, sporting the jersey number 21. Naya Somerville. And Naya Somerville. Number seven. Dragons again putting that offensive pressure on. Just a dominating performance so far by the green and white. Dragons do go up against... Uh, Stiffer competition throughout the season than uh, the Raiders. That is uh, for sure uh, with contests against Oxford. Good rivalry matchup. If you want to see a solid matchup, see Oxford, Lake Orion, and any contest, be it track and field, be it uh, lacrosse, be it soccer, always a great uh, contest. And the great thing, too, is the players from both teams know each other very well. You think these girls have been playing soccer since they were four and five years old. And uh, around these parts, you're playing with uh, uh, students from Oxford area, Rochester. You're playing uh, from Independence and in Clarkston area all together in one, you know, one league to get you started. Then the travel begins, right? Oh, what a turn by Katie. Looking for number two on the night again. Just a bit rushed on that shot. She'd love to have that one back. I am certain of it. But yeah, it's it. The Dragons move on to the, the meat of their schedule. It's just uh, see how they hold up against uh, like competition. Right now, the Raiders seem to be overmatched um, by the Dragons' speed and um, overall execution on offense and defense. There she is again. Go right foot, walks in, chip on, score. Grace Katie tallies number two. There's a replay. Nice feed in, but even better decision on that left foot tap out to find the open space. Takes her time that time. Hit the net miner in the hand. She was there. But Grace Katie does the job. 25-56 of the second half. Six goals here for the Dragons. I do believe there's an eight-goal mercy rule in high school soccer. Dragons are approaching that. Still putting the pressure on out of play. Throwing coming for the green and white. Just tough sledding all game long for the Raiders. Raider defense, uh, hey, they've been under so much pressure, you know, all game long. Got to give them some credit too. 
to slow down this Dragon offense uh, the way the Dragons were playing without some heads-up defense in that first half. It could have been a, an ugly first half for the Raiders. Held the Dragons to three goals in the first. Could have been a lot more. Katie feeds up that left or that right side. Witt chases it down near collision. Run with your head down. Expect a collision to happen. Keep your head up. Madison Barnett, number 23, out there on the field, mucksing it up with Raiders. Raiders trying to get some offensive pace going. There's 15. Kayla Shuck. Trying to maneuver out there and able to do so. Switch, Dragon switch field intercepted by the Raiders. Julia War Warnsey. Warzny. First time called uh, Julia's name tonight. Number nine. Looks like uh, Coach Corteg has uh, rotated off the bench. Ball in the clear, but easily handled by the Dragon defense. Dragon Netminder clears it out. Norman's there. A lot of room to roam for the green and white out there. Intercepted by 22. That's Maya Kelly. See, Kelly's been called her name quite a bit. She's been out there the whole game. Nia Somerville, number seven with the ball, tries to dish it to the side. Collision in the middle of the field. No call. Play continues. That was an odd, odd sequence there. Dragons feed it up that left side. Who has the wheels? That's Rourke. Centering pass and cleared out by 21. Nice wheels by number 10. I'm liking uh, Rourke's game, the speed and the good decisions. Corner kick coming. That is the Oops, excuse me. Eighth corner kick of the night for the green and white. Ten quality scoring chances so far. Rourke's going to have the honors from the side in the corner. She's got a tailwind, so she could be able to lob this one right to the far post. See what happens. Time continues to roll. 22-45. Keeps it low. Trying to chip on. Oh, boy. That nearly got through. Nice steal and a little bit of momentum going the Raiders' way. Kicking it up field, still rolling. This turf is pretty slick and pretty fast. Chased down by number 15, Shuck. Collision, both players go down in a heap. What are they going to call? Foul on the green and white. Let's see if it's a throw in. Olivia Carson, eight, Sarah Looks like a side change for North Farmington on the throw-in. That's coming. No foul on Norman. Raiders trying to get their uh, personnel in order as uh, Rourke guards the uh, throw-in. Shot on. Just a bit wide. Fifth time the Dragon Net Minder has touched the ball tonight, and that is it. Defense has been that solid. Offense has been that solid. Norman with the free kick here, knuckleball. Rolls out to midfield, handled by Katie. Intercepted by the Raiders. Trying to turn, can't do so, boy. Sitlowski was there in a heartbeat. There's work, she's on the move. Getting her feet organized and sends it up that right side. Chip on, deflected out by 21. Keeping her hands down is Jillian Loyo. Another corner kick for the green and white. Ninth corner kick for Lake Orion tonight. If you're not familiar with soccer, that is a lot. Especially in the varsity ranks. Dragons do short, coming near side, looking to open it up. Rourke with the ball, going right foot high, wide, and oh. Someone was on the back post, just a bit high. Nice feed in. Something we haven't seen uh, 
Scoring on set pieces tonight after fouls and that sort of thing. Dragons have mixed up their corner kick uh, selections of if they're going to go short or go, go long. Dragons, I want to say that the Lady Dragons from 2010, 2011. Boy, they were masterful at the corner kick uh, header goal combination. It was unbelievable. If they got a corner kick, it was about a 70% chance of a goal off of a corner kick every time. Katie with the ball in the middle, sends one on. Another net minder in here for North Farmington, the third of the night. Just trying to find stability between the pipes here for the Raiders. Three net minders taking on the Dragons tonight. Norman on the interception, nicely done. Smart play. Take your time, looking for the open area. Raiders are just content to let the Dragons dribble through space. Mark in the middle. That's uh, Allison Barnett, number 23, dishing it out. Katie with the ball and on the move. Left foot, far post. She decides to go near side. Oh, deflection out. <laughs> Marissa, uh, number 11, almost had one. Really screaming next door for the uh, lacrosse match happening next door. They should be cheering as loud for that last uh, play for the Lady Dragons here. My goodness. Couldn't pull the trigger on the rebound. Long feet in over the back line of the defense. That is onside. That can't be onside. <laughs> it's a Dragons uh, smart play by the Raiders defense to halt their, uh, their back pedaling on the defensive side to let the uh, Dragons put themselves offside. Easy call by the referee. Just inside 18 left here in the second half. Dragons commanding lead, 6-0 over the Raiders. Anne-Marie Fossman, two goals tonight. Grace Cady, two goals tonight. I believe there's an eight-goal mercy rule here in high school soccer. Haven't seen one in a long, long time. Nice play by 21 to keep that alive. Abby Regalia, nicely done. Dish it in the corner, just in the open space. Make the defense run that one down, let that one go out. Goal kick coming. <clears throat> I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. Thank you for tuning in to this telecast here on Ori Neighborhood Television. Julie Warsney checks in, number nine, and number 14, Megan Witt for the Dragons. Witt has had a very nice uh, game tonight. A lot of speed and tenacity out there, just being a pest, as we said earlier. If you'd like to watch replays of uh, the most current uh, Dragon sports contest covered by Orion Neighborhood Television, head on over to our webpage at orionontv.org. Check the replay times. Uh, we always try to keep uh, games at 7 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursday nights. That's been the schedule for the last uh, 10 years or so here on ON TV, keeping it consistent so you know when to tune into the game. You can also watch these games online. Something we're really excited here at Orion Neighborhood Television is we're updating our playback servers and video on demand system and live web streaming capabilities to high definition. So look for that uh, upgrade coming soon. And the announcements, uh, follow us on Facebook so you can see when the, uh, the new systems will be launched. <laughs> Bringing Owen TV right into the uh, full HD. Time continues to roll here. Dragons in command, 6-0 over the Raiders from North Farmington. Dragons get possession once again. Burnett 
Tries to dish it this side, and we're intercepted by Julia Reagan, number four. But not for long, Dragons have it. Ooh, miss hit there, let it go. Julie Ward, Warnsy trying to run that one down, but can't get a toe on it. Rourke dishes it near side, and they're on the move. Who guess who? Grace Katie, near side and in. Nothing you can do there in the giveaway in stride to number eight. She'll make you pay. Here's Rourke on the feed, nicely done, right on her toe. And she's off to the races. Rolls right in. Still decides to go with that right foot and keeps it low, would we say? She could have gone wide too, but Grace uh, has had multiple chances tonight. Tallies her hat trick. Still in the contest, seven nothing. Dragons rolling here against North Farmington. I think one more will shut this game down. We'll have to see. Dragons still playing as if it's a tie game. Shows an intensity and a focus this early in the season. That's uh, encouraging for the rest of the season. Long feed again, Katie. And uh, was it chased down by Witt and Katie. That is out of play. Throw in coming to the green and white. 16 has the honors. That's Megan Rush. Grace Katie with the ball turned. Centering pass nearly gets through. Going far side, tough pass there. Easily intercepted by the Raiders. Can they do anything with it? Trying to keep possession, nicely done there. Feet up the line, but intercepted. Dragons, sometimes you say, you see one team that's just a step quicker than the other. The Dragons are about three steps quicker than the Raiders tonight. Partly it has to do with being on your home turf. Always feel comfortable in the confines of your home uh, stadium. Feet up that far side, intercepted. A challenge by number 14, nicely done, Megan Witt, and she's on the move. Tapped out by number 16, I think that is, or 18, Jensen, or Melania, Melena Jensen. Throw in by the Dragons. Rourke with the ball, pull back, and she gets some space maneuver. Centering pass, it's on. Looked a little bit better from this distance, but it was quite short and out of play. Reagan still putting that pressure on. Looking for number eight. Subs being made here on both sides. Tough to hear they are. That wind is just howling out here. Nearly intercepted and walked in by the Dragons. Bork. Nicely done just to keep possession. Nicely done. What footwork. Wit. Looking for an open angle. Trying to center that ball. She does chip on. Intercepted on the way in by number 21. Molio. Molio's had a nice game for the Raiders. Backline defense. Rourke dishes it out. Dragons get organized. Rush with the ball. Coming near side. Looking for the give and go on that back side. Wide open. Oh, Witt has it. Still alive. Taken down in the box. Looked like he grabbed her and dumped her to the turf. I don't know about that. Both players grabbing each other. Old kick coming. Win, knocking that ball down, tough. Dragons trying to organize here. Back it up, Norman with the ball, centers it over. Just trying to swing it around. Get their rush going, number nine. Warnsey. Out of 
play. Who gets the ball? Inside 11 minutes. Time continues to roll here. Near side dish. West is there. She's going to run it down. Chased by 23. That is uh, Newton. And Newton wins that battle against West. Rush with the ball, number 16, taps it over. Dragons settle it down. Eyes downfield, and they deliver. Nicely done. Rourke over there making a move, showing her speed in the clear. Centering pass, or is she going to shoot on net? Go near side post, the netminder was there. Tough angle once you get that deep. Tap out into the uh, penalty area would have been advised. She had she had uh, trailers with her. Wind is picking up here in the late stages of this game. Just howling. Dragons looking for number eight tonight. One hat trick recorded by Grace Cady. One goal in the first, two in the second. West with the ball on the outside and the left, keeping her eyes. Chipping it on, still alive. Has to be played by the netminder, nicely done. Kick that one out of play, throw in coming here for the green and white. Megan Rush on the honors here for the throw in. by the Dragons, what can they do? Grace Katie back in the contest, she's rolling around, battling out there just like we've seen all night long. Rush with the throw in, looking for Katie, trying to dish it over to West in the corner, still alive. West challenges, out of play, what am I gonna say? Goal kick coming. Let's look at the, the numbers here, corner kicks, nine corner kicks for the green and white. 11 quality scoring chances. And seven goals. And a blank sheet on the other side for the Raiders. No quality scoring chances, no corner kicks, and no goals. Just dominant performance by the Lady Dragons this evening. Dishing it over to Witt, she's on the roll. Tapping in the middle, looking for number 23, Barnett. Barnett gets it, chips it on left. We got West going east west, or, uh, east west across this field, back and forth. Trying to find the open, uh, open player. West stops in the middle, Katie's open. She can put it on net again, rush that shot. She calms down, takes a breath. Nobody was with her. She actually had several steps on the defense if she wanted to take it. Goal kick coming here for the Raiders. Inside 720. Hometown crowd uh, treated with a nice uh, performance tonight by the Lady Dragons. Want to encourage all of our viewers to come out uh, to the uh, Lake Orion Sports Complex here at the high school. Catch a softball match, baseball game, soccer match, lacrosse, tennis even. Cheer on these student athletes who will walk in. Who is it? Does it go? It does. Rourke. First goal tonight. Matteo Rourke was there. Tough angle. Score. And that is the ball game. Dragons Mercy, the Raiders here in the late stages with six minutes to go. They tally the eighth on the last goal by uh, Matteo Rourke. Dominating performance by the Greenwind all around. Again, eight goals to nil. They just stuffed the stat sheet tonight. I want to thank you all for tuning into this contest. Thank all of our uh, camera operators to help this down, and uh, our director, Joey Tysick, for bringing this to you. This is a presentation of Orient Neighborhood Television, bringing you Dragon Sports exclusively here on ONTV.
Watch us on Comcast Channel 10, 20 and 22. Visit us on our webpage at orionontv.org for our broadcast schedule. See you next time. Good night, everybody. Dragons win. Ain't nothing.